Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I will show you if you are facing this type of problem on your iPhone or iPad device while activating the iMessage and FaceTime on your iPhone device unavailable for iMessage and FaceTime. So if you are having this type of problem while adding the number to your FaceTime and iMessage, then in this video, I will show you how you can fix this type of problem. If you are having this type of issue while activating iMessage and FaceTime, on your iPhone device after updating your iPhone device to the latest version iOS 17. So now let's get started how you can fix this type of problem. So first of all here you will need to update your number. So here you will need to tap on edit then after that here you will need to tap on delete and then after that here you will need to re-enter your mobile phone number and check that the problem fixed or not. You will need to close this tab. After that here tap on settings then after that you will need to scroll it below. So here search for iMessage and FaceTime. So here is iMessage. You will need to disable this toggle and here enable it again. And then same way you will need to open FaceTime and here you will need to disable this and enable it again. After that go back. Then after that here you will need to scroll it below. Tab on general. Then tab on software update and here make sure that you are using an updated version of iOS. If you don't have an updated version of iOS, then you will have to update your iPhone device to the latest version. Then after updating your device to the latest version, scroll it below, tap on date and time. And here make sure that your iPhone date and time is correct and the set automatically is turned on from here. And the time zone is also selected correctly from here. Then after that, go back and check that the problem fixed or not. If you are having still this problem, then you will need to again open setting. So here scroll it below. Then here search for iMessage. So here is iMessage tap on this. Then from here you will need to tap on send and receive. And here if you are using mobile phone number then here you will need to enter your Apple ID and try with your Apple ID. And if you are using Apple ID then here you will need to enter your mobile phone number. And here try with your mobile number. Then after that check that the problem fixed or not. If you are having still this problem then you will need to close this tab. Then after that here open any browser and, and here you will need to check the apple system status that apple server that apple services are working properly and if here is any problem then you will need to wait for a few minutes and then try again later if you are having still this problem then you will need to open setting then here scroll it below tab on screen time then here scroll it below tab on content and privacy restrictions then here turn on this toggle so after that here make sure that all the toggles should be allowed from here no one toggle should be turned off from here then after that here you need to go back and check that the problem fixed or not if you are having still this problem then after that you will need to again open setting then tap on general then here scroll it below tap on background and app refresh and here make sure that background app refresh is turned on from here then after that go back then here you need to tap on vpn and device management and here make sure that you are not connected with any vpn if you are connected with vpn then you will need to disconnect with vpn and then try again later then after that check that the problem fixed or not if you are having still this problem then you will need to sign out your apple id from your iphone device then after signing out your apple id from iphone device you need to Restart your iPhone device by tapping on the volume up button then volume down then press the power button until the Apple logo appears then after restarting your iPhone device you will need to sign in your Apple ID again then after that again open setting then tap on general then here scroll it below tap on transfer or reset iPhone then tap on reset then here you will need to tap on reset network settings so after that here you will need to enter your iPhone passcode so after that after all these settings hopefully your problem will be fixed and you will be able to use and activate iMessage and FaceTime on your iPhone or iPad device after updating your iPhone device to the latest version iOS 17 so that's it from this video hopefully you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos thank you very much for watching this video